again, what did I do? Let's go full screen so you can see. I have my ALV output here, which is all of our layers, just like we basically did. And I brought that to the AOV group and made a second one. Now what that's going to do is it's going to allow me to do this. Check this out. If we come back here to our master output, what we're seeing, we're looking at one. I can change this to, oh, now we have a two. What do you mean? If I go look, let's add another one. Now we have a three, another three AOV. Now what's powerful about this, check this out. If I go to Blender Compositor, and go back to the Blender Compositor, if we look at our Blender output, look, now we've got these outputs, ALV1, ALV2, ALV3. This is three different looks, easily gonna be exported out, plus all my passes. It's like a benefit, right? Okay, so let's go back to our AOV, render AOV, we gotta select our name, back to our name, there it is. I'm gonna go to two, because I have something plugged into two. Boom, now you see the second one here, I've changed the look. Look at the look here, let me go full screen so you can see. I've added some chromic aberration. I added some blur. I've added some streaks and everything like that. I made a whole separate look. And all I did was once I had my node tree built, I just duplicated it, copied it, brought all the nodes over here. And then all I did was add in the stuff that I wanted to do. I added in a post-processing no node here, which is like here. 